All right, welcome back to No Man's Sky. So I'm here on Sunset Ridge. This is what I'm calling it. I am not in the location that I left off last time. I am on a ridge uh, south of it. I have the HUD turned off for the best views. And uh, I'll turn on the HUD uh, in a little bit. You know, if you want to play, if, if, you, if you want a little challenge in your gameplay, turn the HUD off and uh, try to play. Things still work. Like, for instance, this save beacon here. I kind of guessed... I'm aimed at it, and you can hear it saved, but uh, yeah, it's kind of complicated. Uh, but anyway, uh, the sun uh, scoots across the sky at about the same altitude the entire way. It's a little higher over here, and a little lower over here, I think. Yeah, a little lower over here, a little higher over here. Something like that. Anyway, I also found some power, and uh, so I ran power here. Um, I've got a good deal of power running to the base, and uh, you can't see it, actually. It's behind the hill. This is a heck of a ridge, and, uh, yeah, you could get hurt quite bad because it's kind of calm until right here. And there's my power array. Look at that thing. And, uh, yeah, it's uh, it's rather steep. And uh, But, yeah, power runs up to here, and I just have it stopped. Whoa, I almost fell off. Uh, I just have it stopped right here, but... Um, uh, yeah, you know, another thing, without the HUD, I have no idea if my jetpack's going to run out or not. But uh, anyway, yeah, here it is. This is going to be the site of uh, the new base. And it's absolutely gorgeous. And I guess what I'll do, I'll find out if No Man's Sky has seasons or not. Uh, that is, the orbit around the sun is not uh, perfect. Because uh, that is going to change, you know, the elevation of the sun. So over the next few days, or months, or something, uh, we'll find out. But uh, it's quite a view here. It's quite a nice view. Let me turn the HUD back on. Anyway, right, that, the old base is closer to the uh, Terminator or Prime Meridian or whatever, or intersection of the Terminator and the Prime Meridian or the pole. No, I, I think right here is whatever pole this is. East pole, west pole. There is no north and south pole uh, because uh, this planet apparently spins on an east-west axis. But uh, anyway, right, yeah, Sunset Ridge. Here it is right here with the sun constantly circling around. I was pretty excited. I, this, is, this place is going to look neat. However, on the theme of base building, I think it's time that we do uh, Dreams of the Deep. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to doing this quest because I've seen the start of it, but I have not seen the entire quest. So uh, definitely a chance for me to flub it up. But lots of free stuff with this quest. So let's get going. Let's uh, hit the galaxy menu. I keep calling it galaxy menu. It's a galaxy map. It's clearly a galaxy map. Anyway, I can see it. Ooh, there it is over here. I might have beat up a few freighters here. It's right there it is. And hopefully this planet's decent. We're going to find out. Freighter battle. Well... <laughs> All right, uh, slight detour here. Uh, let's see, there we go. Let's just see how fast we can take these guys out without hitting. Why am I worried about hitting these freighters? I have history here, but apparently they don't remember it. Uh, here they are. And look for the circle. There, you two are gone. Yeah, let's see, who else do we have? I'm the hero. Yeah, that's that's me. Whoa, man, I misjudged that guy. Jeez. Alright. And let's see, we got another one over here somewhere. Where is he? Where is he? There he is. Yeah, you could... I can see him. Let's fire ahead of him. See if I can get him before I see the aiming circle. you. And we got another one over here, I think. Yeah, I'm getting pretty loose. Loose with the gun. I'll take that. Thank you. Any left? Anybody left? One person left? On the other side of the freighter? Yeah, I 
don't... Again, I'm about ready to say, I don't want to hit the freighter. I got you. You're gone. I believe... Nope, somebody down below. There we go. You're gone. I think that's it. Alright. No, no emergency comms. I'm not interested. We're doing this. What, 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 oh, legend. I thought I was already a legend. But I'm a legend twice. I wonder if somehow it took away, on, on further review by the judges, one of my starship kills was obviously taken away. Uh, Alright, is the hailing going to stop? Alright, let me, let me just answer this guy. Hi, how's, how's it going? I think your ship is ugly and, um, yeah. You're gone. Right. Yep. I'm on a quest here, people. Aha. Ooh, we can land here. Of course this is a pretty planet. Now what's wrong with this planet? Aggressive sentinels? Blistering damp. Sentinels are only intermittent. Flora is ample. Fauna is ordinary. This is a very pretty planet, but there's probably storms. Let's... oh. Let's get one of these real quick. Corvax word for convergence. Alright. Uh, I'll scan a few of these things. I mean, I'm gonna be here. I assume that the quest is on this planet since it has water. So I might as well start scanning stuff. Alright, here we go. Uh, let's get some navigation data. Thank you. Any nanites? No nanites? Boo. Alright, let's go. Log 2015F. Breach event. Plus 407 souls. If you are listening, you have likely found our final log. I leave this trace as a memory f of my fallen friends, and a warning to others who may end up on our path. I cannot deny myself the vain hope that someone may find me, though I beg you, do not follow. The haunting transmission ends. I notice the stranger has left behind an upgrade module for the aeration membrane. Collect upgrade module. I take the upgrade module. Into its installation history contains the serial number of its owner's starship. Perhaps I ought to follow. S! Underwater protection module. It's fixed in the quest. No, I didn't get lucky. That would never happen. Uh, I know that much from watching the beginning of this quest. Alright, so I've already got a... what? What is this? An A? I forget what this was. I need to install this underwater protection module. There you go. And this planet has storms, so that's what makes it imperfect. This should go here. There we go. These two should work together. Does this say what it is? A supreme, a significant. Right. So this is a... I thought, sure. Look how it doesn't It doesn't have the letter labels. That's what's missing. How can I tell on uh, this, then? Supreme. I guess you just tell by the name. S-Class. No, it's right there. Silly. No, it's not. How about that? Significant. Supreme. Well, it's either significant or supreme. We know the S is supreme, so it's all good. Alright, let's uh, find the door. And it's gonna storm. Everything's fine. Did I get this? Hold on, navigation data. Point Jorge. And a couple of blue things. And that's about it. Let's get back in. And I think we have a target. Let me make sure that we're still on the right log. Dreams of the Deep. Follow the signal trace. Um, echo of a trail. Perform a scan to search for the previous owner. Okay. Oh, there we go. Right over there. Stranger Starship. And of course, it's storming. And you're seven minutes away, so let's go out and back in. 
right and down and in the dark in a storm this is starting out just perfect it'll be fine I just have to find an island nearby I think okay I can see the islands Ooh, there's that actually it's really close to land this is good and I can actually see some Stub, we're gonna try to catch a landing right on the beach. Mountain, rock, somewhere. Got it. Kind of sideways, it's okay. Oh, you can see it. Check it out. Ooh, you can see lots of stuff in the water. That is really cool. Alright. Gun. Scatter blaster. Reload. Fully loaded. I'll just up this heat shield just because... How much oxygen do I have? Um, cargo, oxygen... I have a lot of oxygen. Okay, I think we should be good. Alright, what's that freaky thing? Just a mineral? Oh, and I have two underwater shields. Hey, I had a scan minerals quest. I just finished it. Alright. Turn to the mission agent. All right, you know what that means. The quest flipped. Yep. Uh, Dreams of the Deep again, please. Thank you. Uh, oh, it's a ship. Is that a hauler? That is the strangest looking ship I have ever seen. Let me uh, let me get this. Nanites. Wow, it doesn't change the camera view when you're underwater. And they're. I hit the wrong button. I need to change that back to the scatter blaster. Um, okay, here's the quest thing. Look, here's a little, uh... Here's a little dome thing. Is this a door? Cool! Now, how is there oxygen in here? It must be, it must be built in. I'm, I'm getting, um, flashbacks of Subnautica big time, so I'm gonna be comparing everything to Subnautica. Let's get back out. Yeah, let's do the quest. That is... Okay, it looks like a hauler. It just looks weird from the back, but that's definitely a hauler. And that is the C-25 hauler. Me. Let's see what this says. Log 0003A. Breach event. Plus four souls. So four days after it happened. Most of the crew are dead. Only those of us already suited up when the asteroid hit survived the initial decompression. We were lucky that the smaller starships were able to get clear before the hull imploded. None of our ships have hyperdrive capability. We should be able to make... We should be able to retrieve the blueprints from the freighter's main databank, though it appears to have crashed in the deep ocean. Thankfully, we still have the plans for the Nautilin. Download Nautilin plans. Ta-da! There's the free Nautilin. And I need metal plating, crystal sulfide, and salt. I can get crystal sulfide under here. I can get salt under here, maybe. Metal plating should be easy. Two items learned. What was the other item? Uh, oh, the marine shelter. Okay, so I just learned the marine shelter. And hy hydrothermal fuel recipe. Alright, is that it? The crash ship contains blueprints for a submarine. Alright, I guess I have to build it. Uh, let me see this thing. What needs to be repaired? Uh, everything needs to be repaired. It's free. Um, I guess I could claim it. And then get back to my ship. I mean, it's free. Let's go ahead and claim it. Claim the ship. And at some point, I'll... I think that means I switch starships. But at some point, I'll be... I don't have to come back for it. It'll just appear. I should be able to summon it or something. Right, so now I need to do the Nautilin. So let's see here. Um, Z Tech Exocraft Nautilin. Uh, four crystal sulfide and five metal plating and the salt. Alright. Well, I can make five metal plating. There's the five metal plating. I feel so much better than I have the five metal plating. And then I need crystal sulfide and salt. So. 
yeah, I don't see anything. I see a lot of stuff I can scan. But I need some crystal. Aha, there's two. What is this? Submerged relic. Okay. Don't get too distracted. Don't get too distracted. Oh, 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 I found crystal sulfide. Alright, once this thing finishes, let's get back to here. And here's the crystal sulfide right here. Show me. What is that thing? Is that just a plant? I hope that's just a plant. We'll find out. Come on, give me, give me, give me the, give me the, give me this. There we go. Alright, that should be enough. Uh, let's see, how much more do I need? Uh, tech Exocraft. Uh, I need one more. So I just need to find another one of those vents. Anyway, Submerge Relic. Yeah, what does this have in it? Chloride Lattice. Cool. Did I get you guys? Yep. Alright, we're looking for another heat vent. Oh, this has salt. Okay. Let's do mining. This will get me the salt. And what was this plant? Carbon and star bulb. Wow. Okay. Um, uh, I've got the salt. Now all I need is one more crystal sulfide. I see one. There it is, finally. I mean, they are bright, so they're not too hard to see. Exit. There's one more. So when it's done, let me get around to the other side. Supplementary oxygen enabled. I think that's the last one. Yeah. Boy, these shields wear out quick, don't they? Okay, both of them are up. So now, I should be able to build it. There it is. The Nautilin. A little underwater vehicle. Let's check it out. Uh, yeah, I want to be inside. There, I'm inside. And, no, I want to hit inventory. Here's inventory. This is not the Nautilin. This is an underwater vehicle. Therefore, Fred. It is Fred. Say hello to the new Fred. Yeah, visibility is not ideal. All right, what's the next quest step? Crash ship contains blueprints. Establish an underwater base made in construction. And not enough fuel in the Humboldt Drive, all right? Um, I need to create some fuel. All right, what do I need to do to create the fuel? Uh, hydrothermal fuel cell. I need 40 salt, 40 cytophosphate, and 40 carbon. Okay, I picked up the cytophosphate somewhere. I have no idea where. Um, was it that I hit the ground accidentally when I was doing something? There it is. Primary element cytophos... Ah! The primary element for a lot of these plants, instead of carbon, is cytophosphate. Alright, good. What hit me? What's hit- what's hitting me? What the heck was that? Do you, you see anything? What hit me? Good grief. I would just like to know who's attacking me. I have no idea. We'll pretend like it didn't happen and, and go on. I see. It's not it's not filling both shields. I have to carefully do that. Now I want to fill the primary one. Yeah, I have no idea what hit me. But uh, whatever it is, it's gone. Let me get some more of these. Oh. Wow. 
these plants send out little monsters. I don't know what they are. Let's get back inside. Suckers. Alright, how much, uh, how much phytophosphate do I have? I can build one. Can I build two? Nope. There, let's put it in here. Alright. I still see those guys trying to hit me. Uh, now what do I do? Test the Nautilus submarine. Alright. Uh, this, this drives not so hot. I'm, I might have to hop out to drive it. Got that. Yeah, let's hop out to drive it. Oh, that's weird. Let's... So you steer with the mouse, at least when you're outside it. Alright, now what do I do? Come on. Test an island by exploring the deep. Stay alert for signs of the stranger's expedition. How about a scan? No scan technology installed. Well, that's a problem. Repeater signal detected. Alright, where? There's my... Oh, that's my primary starship. Now I don't know where Stubb is. I think Stubb's up on the hill. Uh, how far away is that? One minute and 25 seconds? How about when I'm moving? Is there a booster on this thing? No! I'm out of the water. Uh, where'd I park Stubb? A revolting development. Alright, we're kind of out of the water here. Um, good. There's Stubb sitting right up on top of that hill. Perfect. Where the quest icon is, it's just over here. Sunken structure. Alright, well, we're, we're just picking a better landing spot. But here we are, alright. Guns. This, those things are bad. I know they grab you or something, so I want to shoot it before it sees me. Abyssal horror. Can't shoot it yet. Ooh. Ooh. Hypnotic eye. Okay, well, obviously, they can hypnotize. Is there another one? Scary things? Scary things. I don't see another one. One oh, of the shields is down already. Oh! Reload. Yeah, there's thinking. You've gotten right up on top of them without without any bullets. Sneak around. Oh! All right. So it's funny when they when it grabs you, you can't hold down on the E key. You've got to tap the E key at least on the on the PC to get out of its grip. All right, let's get in this building now. I think that... Well, I wonder if there's one on the other side. So, from what I understand from watching some of uh, KJPC Gaming is that you can make meals out of the hypnotic eyes. Not that I would ever eat an eyeball, but uh, that could be part of the cooking example to give to who's his face on the anomaly. All right, let me recharge this before I forget. All right, here we go. What are we doing in here? We got all kind of stuff going on. I don't think I see any bad guys, but do I even know what the bad guys look like? There's this. Good. All right, let's see what this says. Here we go. Haunted terminal. Nope, get rid of the goop. Get rid of the goop. Despite the decay, the station's mainframe remains functional. The records have clearly been accessed by whoever came here before. The last entry is a download of a high-power sonar unit. Ooh. But there is something strange. The timestamps have been purged, 
And there's no way to tell how long ago the crew were here. Was this place on land when it was last visited? The horrors that lurked outside must surely have come after. But what drew them here? Unless... Bum, 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 bum. Down the sonar planes. New technology discovered. High power sonar. I need a salt refractor. I don't know how to make a salt refractor. Crystal sulfide and ferrite dust. Almost have enough crystal sulfide. Okay. New product learned. Product formula. Oh, it teaches me. Salt refractor. 100 salt. Well, that's cool. All right, so I learned a new recipe at the same time. All right. Very cool. Let me summon... Uh, Exocraft the Nautilin there. Let me recharge this shield and recharge this shield. And let me hop in here into Fred. Oh, this is really weird. It's like the mouse gets stuck. Okay. There. Whew. All right, uh, then let me access the inventory. And first I need to build a salt refractor, which I can. And then what did this need? I need one more crystal sulfide and that's it. Okay, there's a vent thingy. There's two of them actually. We'll rush in. There blow up get this one get out of here are they both go at once that's fun let's get some more just because we're here and there's another one on the other side yep and then there should be another one over here I think I see it Now, I should be able to now build this, uh, yes, the sonar, bling, bling, bling. and uh, what is this, I don't, oh, there's no technology slots in this, alright, that's fine, we'll, we'll put it over here, okay, now, I've built it, use the high power sonar to locate survivors, alright, so probably quick menu, high power sonar, to locate what? To locate what? Do I search for ships, crash freighters, sunken buildings, or submerged ruins? Use a high power scanner to detect and explore sunken wrecks. Um, the crew mentioned a freighter crash. Okay, good. The crew mentioned a logs mission of freighter, so let's just search for freighters. Sunken wreck detected. Where? Where, where's the wreck? There it is. It is four hours away. All right. We're going to get out and get to get the stub here. And it's, it's, it's faster, I think, to scoot underwater. Let's get a few of these. These are living pearls. And I do get hurt a little bit, maybe, if I'm too close. Doesn't seem too bad, though. We got two of them. I don't know if I'm going to need any for this quest or not. Seems like you would, though. Almost C. Right, let's catch a progress. Save. Now where are we going? I think it shows up on the map. There we go. Watch out for that tree. Sunken wreck detected. Uh, that's still 21 minutes away. All right, out and back in. And back down we go. Again, in the dark, in a storm. Perfect. And I see an island. I see a lot of islands. I'm not sure if there's one close. That, no. I see an island off to my left. That's the close. Aha! The freighter's sticking out of the water. Can I land on it? Can land on it. How about that? Cool. Landed on a freighter. Ah, how nice. The storm's ending. That's good. Let's wait for it to end. <laughs> 